Hello everyone and welcome back to Bugs and Biology. Today we have a bunch of young centipedes to be getting into new homes. Here they are over here. There are seven of them in total. So that's a fair amount and hopefully this video isn't going to be overly eventful but you know centipedes they have their tendencies and as you should be able to see some of them are definitely getting a bit big for their current enclosures so a rehouse is certainly due. So let's not delay anymore and get started. The first centipedes I'll be dealing with today are these gold ethmostigmus rub ripes from central Australia. These are captive bred but they weren't hatched by me. I did have a clutch of these um, last year but they are still tiny, way smaller than these, so I won't be needing to rehouse those for a while. Anyway, let's stop talking and okay. Just come on, pop into the box, pop into the box my friend. This does not need to be any more difficult than you make it. Oh there we go, that was not bad. Not good either, but alright. And I'm handling again, okay. Well that was a... <laughs> that was a cracker of a start. Wouldn't it be great if I had some big screw up right after devoting an entire video to ripping into exotic slayers care? Um, yeah. Centipedes, I need you on your best behaviour today, okay? It's falling on deaf ears, I know. Actually, they don't have ears, so it's falling on no ears. So, second gold rub ripe hairs. Now, are you going to be like your sibling, or are you going to be a good boy? Seems to just be a bit shy. Come on. Okay, so it is being a little bit problematic. It's all good. No issues at all. Well, okay, some issues, but yep. And under the hide it goes, nice and easy. Next up, we got two of these. These are Silver Valley Ethmostigmus rub ripe hairs. Unlike the golds that I was just rehousing, these were hatched by me. You might remember them from last, yeah, last year their mother had a, a batch of babies. Well. This is them now, and as a matter of fact, she is on another lot of babies now, so I'm going to have more of these soon. From what I've seen, these centipedes, they're not very prone to bolting, but if you tick them off, they tend to thrash around a lot. Um, yeah, just like that, just like a fish out of water, basically. Let's get the lid off. On the plus side, they have a really, really nice shade of green. Honestly, it looks kind of paler on camera than it is in person. Um, plus, I think this centipede is pre-molt as well, so the colour might be a bit more faded. Let's get you in. Okay, stop freaking out. Well, a whole lot less problematic than the golds. Or did I speak too soon? Nope. Seems to be fairly chill. Having a drink as well, I see. Nice. Always important to stay hydrated in this weather. So now time for our second Silver Valley. And of course it's burrowed. Oh, hello, hi, hi, what, what, what did I just say? Hello? Alright. You might be able to tell, this one is a little bit of a darker shade of green compared to the, compared to the last. Come on. That's a good peed. And straight under the bark. 
Oh no, having a water. Oh, just having a little drink, just like the, just like its sibling. Okay, I think we are done with this centipede. So four centipedes down, three to go. Here we have more Ethmostigmus rub rub heads. These are tiger forms and they are from Cairns. Um, like the Silver Valleys, they are also siblings, all three of them. Uh, in year 11, I went on a school trip up to Cape Tribulation and I saw some of these. They tend to live in coastal habitats They also don't seem to be quite as mental as some of the other tiger forms. Like the New South Wales tiger forms, I like, oh my god. Gerthang and her babies, they are just nuts. But these Cairns tigers, they're a bit nervous at times, but generally, they're fine to deal with. Just like that, it's gone under a tide. No issues whatsoever. I've got to say, apart from that slight hiccup with the gold rub ripe heads at the beginning, this rehouse has been going really well. Let's hope that these last two don't decide to change that. You gonna be okay? Yeah. I'm just gonna... No, no, no. I know it's emotional, but don't get attached to your old home. Come on, that old home is shit compared to the new one. Just move on in life. That's it. Look at me, giving life advice to centipedes. And now it's having a drink. I don't know about you, but I never get tired of watching centipedes drink. It is just the cutest thing. But then again, my concept of cute isn't, uh, well, it, it, it's unique. Let's just put it that way. Last but not least, my final Cairns rub rub heads. Ooh, and you are a chunky one as well. Good, I like them chunky. In fact, this centipede almost looks pre-mold, so I'm going to be extra gentle with it. It's in your pop, in your pop. Don't, don't be a dickhead. I can't decide whether a centipede's strong grip is admirable or just annoying as heck like yeah we get it you are you are strong you are agile and you're fast you don't need to flex on us about it and somehow it's back in its old enclosure again move on just move on from your old life get into the new house thank you no 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 not thank you oh well nothing like finishing off the video with a bit of handling Hello. You're just gonna 
Oh, don't tell me you're just gonna sit here and rest. I... I need this video to end. I can't... Oh, oh, you are just gonna rest. Okay, fine. And you're gonna clean your antennae as well. Okay. Just when I thought I was gonna wrap this video up, this centipede decides that my finger is the perfect pla place to sit down and clean. Playtime is over. I need you to get into your new box. Excellent. Okay, so the ending was a little bit of, uh, yeah, well, it, it was a bit eventful. Let's just put it that way. Um, but yeah, ultimately all centipedes are in their new homes and hopefully they enjoy it. If you enjoy my posts, then feel free to subscribe and check out some of my other uploads. And of course, let me know what you think in the comments section as well. By the way, happy 20th anniversary of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Yeah, screw Christmas, I don't care about that. I just care about Lord of the Rings.